All right, hello and welcome to another Ultimate Game Host video tutorial. Today we'll be adding a custom map to the Counter-Strike Source server. There's a demo to show you guys how to do it. And uh, we'll also visit one of the pitfalls that usually happens when you're adding maps to a server and how to fix that error message, at least for one type that happens. Um, so I've downloaded a map called CS Park House from FPS Banana. It looks pretty good from the screenshots, but I don't actually have it. I've never played it. And it comes in a zip file, so I'll just extract that zip file. And the files we care about are actually right up front from the zip. I like that. The BSP and the nav file. The BSP is the map itself. And the .nav file is the file that the bots use to run around so they know where to go. Otherwise, they just kind of stand there or run into walls, that sort of thing. So we want to get these maps up on the server. So let's go ahead and get FileZilla open. And using the same thing that we did last time in the FileZilla tutorial, we'll go to My Server Shortcut. And here we are at the server. So we want to go into the Maps directory. And we want to take the BSP and the nav file and upload them to the Maps directory. So we're in Maps here. Select those two. Upload. and we wait for a little bit while those are uploading and in the meantime I can explain a little bit about um, other things that we'll need to change or are optional to change I suppose. There's the map cycle and the map list files and we'll queue both those up for download. I was holding control there so that I could click both. Download those as soon as that's done and then we'll work with the map cycle and map list files Now, I can explain briefly while this, this downloads what the map cycle file does. Uh, you see all these CS Assault, Compound, Havana, Italy, Militia, Office, Aztec, uh, Kabobble, Chateau, Dust, and Dust2. Uh, all those maps are in the map cycle file so that the game knows when it's playing Aztec, for example, that the next map is C Bubble, and it will play that map next as the round ends so when time limit ends up the server switches to that map next and that's how you can set that is by playing around with the map cycle file it's almost done uploading the the largest file okay we can right click in the white space here and do an open and we have map cycle dot text we want to add our map to this file if we want it in the Rochin, which I do for the purposes of this demo so CS Parkhouse not currently in the list we want to add it to the list CS underbar park house notice we don't write BSP just the name that's all the server needs and that's what that's what it has by default for all the maps that come with Counter-Strike Source. We can save that file and close it. So map cycles ready. Let's take a look at uh, map list as well. Okay. Add it here too. CS Park House. All right. Go back to the root directory where we got map cycle and map list, and we'll select both of those and upload. And we're going to overwrite the old files. Overwrite both. Now those are saved. And let's open up uh, HLSW now, looking at our server. And test, make sure the archon's OK. Go over to change level, do an update. CS Park House is available as a map. In fact, the server's already changed to it, so I was working on it later, but I can show you how this works anyway. Let's change level to CS Italy briefly. So maps change to Italy and back to Park House. Okay. 
Now let's try to connect to that server that has Parkhouse running, and let's see what happens. After we've just we've added the map, everything looks good, right? Everything's all set. Let's try. Missing map. Map slash CS underbar parkhouse dot BSP disconnecting. Now why would this happen? Well there's there's a lot of reasons that can happen. One could be you already have a half downloaded copy of a map that's incorrect and has or a map with the same name but a different byte count so it won't actually download it but in this case what's happened is we forgot to set a particular server config variable and to check that variable we can go into the config folder and download the server.cfg that's currently up there and let's have a look Okay, so there's one particular command missing from this, and if we go on HLSW, we can test it. It's net underbar max file size. We hit enter, we see net max file size equals 16 minimum. Minimum, sorry, it equals 16 now, the minimum is 0, and the max is 64, and it says the maximum allowed file size for uploading in megabytes. So right now it's 16. How big was that map we uploaded? 33.3 megabytes, give or take by Windows count on the Linux server, it'll be a little different, but it's still definitely bigger than 16 megabytes. So let's change that server.cfg file. Let's add in net underbar max file size 64. Just go for the maximum and save. And Close that back out. Go back to FileZilla. File size has changed. Let's upload that file. Now we've done the change. Do we really want to reboot the whole server for this change? Well, we don't have to. We can up HLSW and do exec server.cfg. Hit enter. And now let's check that variable again. Max file size. Pardon me, mine's not auto scrolling. There we go. Okay, so we did the exec server CFG, and net max file size is now 64. So it's set properly. Let's see what happens when we try to join the server this time. And now we're downloading maps. And this will take a while, I should warn you. There's a lot of, um, the internal file server for the game is usually very slow in its delivery. Okay, so we're finally done downloading the map. That was about a 10 or 15 minute download. I cut it out to save you all the pain of watching it. Let's make sure the map works and I can play on it. Looks pretty good. Looks like it could be fun. Alright, so this map is up and playable. And we'll go over in some other tutorials how to do other things to administer your server. Thank you for watching.